welcome back to another Fly of the Month brought to you by Ultimate Sport Fishing Adventures. It's now November and the coho salmon have begun their annual migration up the coastal rivers of British Columbia. So let's tie up my favorite coho pattern called Kelsey's Hope. Started off here by putting a Mustad uh, 34007 size number 6 hook in the, in, the, uh, in the vise and crimping down that barb as required by our regulations. Um, I've also attached a piece of 15 pound uh, monofilament fishing line here and a piece of mylar tinsel, medium mylar tinsel. This tinsel is gold on one side, silver on the other. So when I tie it in, I always tie it in with the gold facing you so we'll get this uh, the silver facing on the outside. And uh, I use a red tying thread. A lot of people use black tying thread. I just prefer the red. I don't know why. Maybe I think it shows up better in the water. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, wind in our mylar. Just, uh, just like so. Just wind that forward. And I would keep the the, the winds nice and tight. I also kind of overlap them maybe by half or so just kind of figure that it uh, makes a more durable fly and uh, once again we use that 15 pound monofilament line to overwrap this body and that once again will make it more durable as well so when those fish get their teeth into it they won't tear the thing to shreds. Just tie that in like so. Couple wraps. Pretty simple. Snip off this little piece, tie again, goner, and we take our monofill and uh, just make some nice tight wraps over top of it. This is a pretty popular local uh, fly pattern for coho, I'll tell you. Um, when I'm out in the river, this thing's always on the end of my fly line. This is my go-to fly for coho. They just seem to gobble this thing up. And we're going to take that 15-pound uh, monofill, keep the wraps nice and tight together. Pretty easy. This will make it nice and tight. Now some people, after they wrap this monofill on, they'll uh, they'll put a coat of hard as nails uh, head cement over top of this. That'll that'll also make it more, more durable. But I figure that this uh, 15 pound mono pretty much uh, <laughs> keep any fish's teeth off that off that fly. So once we get that tight on, we'll clip that off nice and tight, and just bind those ends down just like so. You want to make it uh, make it nice and tight, and then we're going to take a little bit of pearl crystal flash. I don't know, four or five strands. This is pretty shiny stuff. Shows up well in the water. Just uh, go ahead and bind that on. I leave the uh, tag ends long for a reason, so that I can just grab those and snip them off without no problem. Boom. Tie those in, and I, I don't know, I cut that probably a quarter inch past the bend of the hook, you can see there. It's going to stand up a little bit. Now the next thing we're going to tie in is some green bucktail. And we're going to lay that a little farther back than the, than the, uh, the pearl crystal flash. Maybe, I don't know, half an inch or so. Bind that in, nice and tight. Leave that long. It's about right. This is a case where uh, you want a pretty sparse fly. It's a good case of where less is more. Boom. Those are gone. Get rid of those guys. Don't want no stragglers. You can actually pull those back if you feel you've tied them too tight. And then the very top overwing is blue bucktail. And then that's going to be a little longer yet. Maybe just, just a tad longer than the green wing. And uh, tie that in. Get that going on there and get that on top so it looks good. You can also pull that forward if you feel it's too long. It's about right there. Bind that down nice and tight. Once again, get rid of those. You can pull those back if you want just a hair and uh, build up your head. Like I said, I like using red. kind of shows up good. Something like that. I mean, uh, you don't have to be too picky with it. Then I just get my handy dandy whip finisher out, slap a whip finish on there, three or four turns, clip off your tying thread, slap a little bit of hard as nails head cement on there. I like this stuff, it kind of keeps everything shiny, and you don't need too much because just a little teeny fly. 
You hit the bottom of it. And there you have Kelsey's Hope. Tie that on the end of your fly line and go chase some coho. Now make sure you check back in December because we've got some great flies coming up uh, for the fly of the month. Take care and tight lines. Thank you.